All right, welcome back to a new Roblox scripting tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to make a UI slider. So if I go over here and click on the settings button, you will see this slider that I've made. And basically it changes your field of view. If you look at the area around it, you can see it changes and it basically displays it as well. And there's also a reset button. So it will reset it back to the default field of view, which is 70. So let's say, you want to have like a weird zoomed out experience, you can set it to 90. You want to have a zoomed in experience of like 20 and you can do this. It looks really weird. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I have this settings button. It's supposed to open up the settings frame that has a slider in it. It has this, um, well, this is the main frame. It basically contains all the things and then there's this slider frame slider button inside of it and there's a display as well with a reset button in case you want to reset it to the default and in our case we're going to be using field of view to for what we're going to change but you can change any value that you would want to so uh, right now i've got this simple script in here that just sets the visibility to what it's not also, the link to this GUI is in the description. And let's get started then. So right now, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to define, well, this mainframe, and I called it FOV slider. So I'm going to say local FOV slider equals script, no, not that, settings frame dot FOV slider. And then after that, I'm going to define the slider frame and that's the frame that the actual slider is in. It looks like that, smaller than the FOV slider. Okay, so I'm gonna say local slider frame equals FOV slider dot slider frame. And then after that, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna define the slider button, which is the button that moves. So <laughs> local slider button equals slider frame dot slider button. And then after that, we have the FOV display. So I'm going to say uh, local FOV display equals, and where is that? Let me look at where this is. So that's going to be in FOV slider. So that would be equal to FOV slider dot FOV slider display. And then we're going to define the reset button. So local reset button or FOV reset button in case you have multiple. Um, and then we're going to say that is equal to FOV slider as well. Yeah, that reset button. And then after that, we have dragging. And that's going to define whether it is dragging right now as a Boolean. So I'm going to say local FOV dragging equals false and that's also uh, one other thing we're going to define is user input service uis equals game get service user input service so now after that what we're going to do is say settings button wait no i already did the <laughs> slider button dot mouse button one down colon connect function and then I'm going to say FOV dragging equals true. Then after that, what I'm going to do is say user input service dot input ended colon connect function. And then we're going to have input, which is a predefined parameter in here. And we'll say if input dot user input type is equal to enum dot user input type dot mouse button one also i should probably zoom in um, then what we want to do is say fov dragging equals false and then after that we're almost done actually uh user input service dot input changed is what we want to do next and pull and connect function and then we're going to have to have input in here as well i'm going to say if input dot user input type is equal to enum dot user input type dot mouse movement then what we want to do is say 
Well, then if f of v dragging is equal to true, then you want to do this. And we'll say local mouse location or mouse loc is equal to user input service colon get mouse location. And that's a default value or event of user input service. Then we're going to get the relative position of how of where it is on the screen. And I'm not going to explain exactly how this works. I mean, I'll go over it a little. I don't know if you'll completely understand it. It's sort of complicated though. So basically, right now, the mouse location, oops, <laughs> the mouse location, it's going to start here. But we want to start here um, or somewhere around here. I, I've forgotten it. I, I written this, I, I wrote this code a long time ago and I'm just, trying to remember what I did in the past. So let's see, it's local relative position or POS, we'll say, equals mouse location minus um, FOV sliders absolute position. And that should be all we need to do for that, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. And then we basically need to create a percentage. It's actually a decimal, but I like to say percentage because it's more like, it's easier to think of as this left side is 0%, this right side is 100%. So I'm gonna say local percentage equals, and then I will say math.clamp. And if you haven't used math.clamp, you basically put in a number and you can set a minimum and a maximum value and it won't go under the maximum and over the minimum or something like that, the other way around. <laughs> so then after that, we want to say relative position dot x uh, as relative position is two numbers, an x and a y, and we want to divide it by the slider frame's absolute size to get that, and it's actually dot x. And then we want to clamp it so it doesn't go over zero or one. Zero in scale, meaning right here, and one in scale, meaning over on the side, like that. And then what I want to do is say slider button dot position equals UDIM2 dot new. And basically, all I need to do is say percentage 0 0.50. And that's basically saying the scale on the Y or the scale in the x should be percentage, which is a number between 0 and 1. And this should just be the default, which is in the middle on the y. If you have any other values that are default in here, just put them in there. And then basically, we just want to set the field of view to be actually what we tell it to be. So dot field of view equals math dot round, not dot, equals math dot round. And then we're going to say percentage times 120 and that's because percentage well it's going to be a number between zero and one and if we just have it be percentage well if it's all the way on the right side and it's a hundred percent it's going to be zero um it, well not zero it's going to be one fov which is really small i'll, I'll actually show you that later and i'm also using math.round so it doesn't um you actually don't need to use math.round but I just like to, just so you know, it's going to be a whole number, you know. And then we're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to say f of e dot text equals, oh yeah, and also if you want to reference it. I'm actually rounding twice, um, just to be safe. I don't know why, but it might, f of e might automatically reset or some, set to some weird value or something like that so i just use fov display dot text and i set it to the rounded value of the current camera's field of view and now this is pretty much done and also you probably want the main settings frame to be invisible by default you know you don't want it to just be visible all the time so basically you'll see here if i move this I drag it over here, drag it over here, over here, just like that. You'll see that it moves um, just as you're going. And it changes the display. 
and if you as you can see if i move this all the way out to 120 you'll see it's very um well i'll just say hard to play because it's very interesting you might have a game like this i don't know a good case actually <laughs> right now and then i'll show you one fov you can't get out of one body color pretty much and if you zoom out really far it looks like this which is um pretty much unplayable <laughs> so you probably want to don't want to use one fov especially if you're using default character size and character cameras like that now all we need to do is actually set the reset so that it actually resets when you click on it and that's pretty simple it's just like an extra five lines, I believe. So I'm going to say reset button, or FOV reset button, dot mouse button one click, and then colon connect function. And then all we need to do is say FOV display text, or I didn't call it, what did I call it? FOV display? Yeah. It's a, it is a text label, dot text, and then is equal to. And then we'll just say 70 because that's the default. If you want to have a value or variable that states the default field of view, go ahead and do that and just set it to be that variable or that thing. And slider button dot position equals udim two dot new. And then you want to say 0 0.50, 0 0.50. And that sets it in the middle on the X and Y of the slider frame that it's in. Just like that. And then I want to say game.workspace.currentcamera.field of view equals 70. And now if we go back into the game, it should be perfect. And there should be no frame rate drops or anything like that. I mean, there might be like one, a frame rate drop of like one. I don't know. It just depends. Um, it should be very rare because if we're not using render stepped and doing we're not even doing a lot of calculations or anything like that. It's just really simple stuff. And then you'll see if we hit this reset button, 70. And it might not look like it's in the middle because it the slider frame, it only goes to here. It doesn't go all the way. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel as it really helps, as well as turning on the post notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks and goodbye.